This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. I'm probably going to have people disagreeing with me. I'm probably going to have people disagreeing with me and then people saying that this could have probably, probably been the best episode I've recorded in a long time. But no, like one thing that I see a lot on social media, and I'm just only doing this so it can eliminate any awkwardness or, you know, me like push it into a relationship and stuff but no i i honestly think that people you guys some now i'm not gonna say oh i'm gonna say some because there's people where they make sure it's in their uh cover photo for social media their profile picture their tiktoks their instagram posts their tweets their facebook posts if myspace was still a thing that if my yearbook was still a thing that i'm telling you you wouldn't know when a person is in a relationship but there are people out there where they won't tell nobody and then just out and it could be a situation where they're just saying that because they're not interested and i'm like if that's the case i'm like no you need to be honest be blunt tell that person you're not interested in them but when i see like the thing is this when I try to go talk to a girl, right? And I message her on social media. And she's like all being short answer. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm a good guy. Like, I don't, you, and there's that overthinking and all that other extra stuff. And I'm not trying to, you know, really deal with that. Then just out of nowhere, she drops it on me that she's in a relationship. And I'm like, wow. Oh, okay. And not like to me directly, but like she'll just make a post about it or something. And then you're like... Well, dang, you know, and the funny thing is, is that when I see people make tweets or posts, whatever, and they're all like, like, I'll see, well, more so, well, I mean, it it could be anybody, but I think that, no, the last time I did see it, it was a content creator, and I guess, yeah, she posted that, I didn't know who this content creator was, but anyways, um, she posted how she was in a relationship, and she lost a lot of followers, and the thing is this, you know, if people haven't realized it by now, and it's it's something that I think a lot of us do. I'm I'm not even gonna lie. Like I have tried to um get with a content creator that I met, but that I don't know. Like I can't. I don't think it's bad. You know, I, don't, I personally don't think it's bad. But at the same time, like you shouldn't go on Twitch, like, treating it like Tinder or something, like, you're automatically, like, like, be friends with the person, be cool with the person, of course, you know, build a bond with them, and then see where it goes, and if it doesn't go anywhere, then it's like, fam, you know, like, you're, you're going into Twitch with the wrong intentions, or YouTube, TikTok, wherever, it's like, if, I think, well, obviously, you know, if it's like a mutual thing where it's like she likes you, you like her, or he likes you, and you like him, whatever the situation is, you know, then then it can work out. But if if it's like you going on there and that's like, oh well, that's that's all, that's the only reason why I go on Twitch. Yeah, it, that's that's not going to work. I've heard it happen, but I I just I'm not going to say it's going to happen for everybody, you know. So, but um, no, like that's the thing though, where you you got to understand that. And I guess it's it's just, it's like that with anybody. I'm pretty sure there's women out there that have done that stuff too, where it's like, if there's a guy that they're interested in, and then he posts that, he's all like, oh, you know, going out to eat with Bay today, whatever and stuff. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some women out there that's done unfollowed some guys because they ain't seen he was in a relationship. And it's something where it's like, I, I, that's, it's everybody. That's how everybody is. And I'm like, you put, you put yourself in that situation. What are you going to do? You know, like, and have I done that? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Like, no, I know people going to probably think of me differently and they're going to look at me differently. But I'm like, fam, the thing is this. I would rather do that than to try to be on some like love story type stuff where it's like, oh, well, I'm going to still I'm going to still try to get with her anyways. And if it, and it just really depends like on who it is, like if it's somebody that I'd like that I actually know that I'm just not going to really talk with them as much. 
Um, but if it's somebody that I don't really know like that, then I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, it's whatever. But I don't think it's more so, I, I'm trying to think, hey, when was the last time? Because I, I, well, no, no, I have, I have. But it's been like with like models, like that has like a hundred and something thousand followers on social media and stuff. So it's like, it's, it's stuff like that. But it's like usually, um, like when it comes to content creating or people that I, like, you know, that I went to school with and work, whatever and stuff um but well why did i say work like no work because it's it's never been no situation at work where that's somewhere i'm like nah not at the not at the cafe that i worked at it was like i i remember that was a bit of advice that um uh jack he was telling me where he was telling me a story about like a relationship he got in where he um was yeah in a relationship with a girl that he worked with and it was like he said it was some crazy i'm telling you like jack he's one of those guys where it's like he he needs a podcast of his own because i'm like that that man got stories all right like he's somebody he's somebody definitely in the future where it's like i gotta have him on the other podcast uh t-moss boss and friends and we just gotta sit there and just you know tell stories because man does he have some stories but anyways um but no like well all right so let me just i think i'm gonna just like try to lay out like every scenario possible when it comes to work content creating you know somebody that you just met on the street uh where else school all that stuff so the thing is, like, and I'm trying to think, like, I, I, oh no, I remember it's actually when I was in school, and yeah, no, the girl that I, um, that I had liked, it was actually, yeah, it was the same girl that had uh said she wouldn't be with me because I'm black, uh, but no, like, yeah, I seen that she was uh in a relationship, and I wasn't as talkative, but it, it just, man, like, that's something where I don't get like why that you have feelings for this person you know and that's all that's going to be running through your mind right that's the only thing that's going to be running through your mind that you want to be with this person but you're sitting there looking them in the face while they're all hugged up and whatever with the person that that's not you I'm not, that's not me, that's not who, and I'm like, fam, that is hurtful, I can't do stuff like that, I can't sit there and look in a person's face while it's like, fam, I want that to be me, and that's something where it's like, look, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm not trying to be rude, I just think that's everybody in this world, like, you are in love with somebody right like you put yourself in that situation you are in love with somebody but they're in a they're in a relationship with somebody else and then you sit and you're sitting there watching them whether it's school work content creating whatever the situation is like you ain't gonna be with that you you're not you're not gonna be with that at all so it's one of those things where it's like i just i feel like people just need to understand it's like how a person feels if they feel hurt then yeah, I can see why they would do some unfollowing stuff. If there's at times people, they probably do it just to be petty or whatever. But no, there's just you know, there's at times where it's like the person's like, I don't want to see that. You know, it's like it's somewhere. It's just it, it kind of like I think it just really it, it just if they've experienced that a lot, I can see why they would unfollow a person. Cause I'm like, yeah, it's you know, you you experience rejection a lot and things. Yeah, it, it can it can be really it can be messed up and stuff. So. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, I, I wouldn't get mad. So I guess like if it's me, right, and I got, I just posted I was in a relationship and I noticed that my following was going down, I wouldn't be mad at those individuals. I wouldn't be mad at them because I'm like, well, I mean if if that if they're hurt then i'm like i'm i'm sorry that you know that you feel that way and things i do hope that you find somebody i guess with me i'm just you know i'm i am nice and i try to help out people and i try to you know like i would help them like find a relationship that's what i need to do i need to come out with a dating show bro i need to start i need to do that i need to start working on like tv shows youtube channels and all that other stuff bro i should just do a dating show on my on one of my youtube channels or just create another youtube channel and just have it where it's like the t moss boss dating show or whatever i don't know but anyways um but no like if i i i'm not gonna be mad i'm not gonna be all like oh yeah like call them out on it and stuff i mean like no they're hurt they have feelings for me and then they see that i'm in a relationship I'm like, I've been in their shoes before, so I, I get how you feel. I understand how you feel, but, and even with me, I'm like, because, no, the one thing, um, like, if it's, like I say, if it's with somebody that you don't really know like that, but, and I guess, and it's weird, because it's like, you try to get to know, I guess, like, if there's, like, history but um behind you two, um, you know, then it'd probably be, it, well, I don't know, there's people out there, they will cut a person off, no problem, 
And with me, it's like, I do cut people off, but at the same time, I guess, like, you know, I don't, like, I'll close a door on a person, but I won't lock it. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, they can, you know, walk through that door any given time they want to, but I just don't want to have them in, like, my my region, my area and stuff. So, there's, I've, I've like, sim, semi-blocked a person, where it's like, you know, I won't look at their posts, stories, none of that stuff, because, like, social media, you can mute some people, you know, like, that's, that's something that I was, like, I actually think that's a cool feature, you can, like, mute a person's story and mute when they post, so you just won't see that, and the last, I had to say the last girl that I had, like, strong feelings for, I did that for a moment, it was, like, it was when the, like, when it was still kind of fresh and new and out there and things, I was, like, I didn't want to see that, I still to this day don't want to see that, you know, but it's, like, it's not like how it was back then, where it's, like, I have, like, you know, this, sudden urge of crying sudden urge of anger and it's like i just want to go to one of those like rage rooms and just destroy everything i want to like not even just go go to the rage room and destroy the whole building not just the room i mean the whole building bro and yeah it's just it's it's one of those things where it's like no that's like you you genuinely are hurt and that's what it's like when the person i because no i actually wanted to do a podcast episode where i talked on that and i guess i'll just blend it in for this but i probably will just um you know what actually you know no i'll probably have it where it's its own separate um episode because i do i do want to talk on that but no like if you if you don't have history with the person it's not gonna really matter as much but if you have history with that person yeah it's it's gonna hurt so that's why it's like you know if you if it's at the end of the day it's up to that person they're in control of their social media platforms on who they want to follow and who they want to unfollow and stuff they're in control of that and i think you know there should be people out there you shouldn't call them out you shouldn't be mad at them if you see that they unfollowed you if you're following them unfollow them back if you wasn't never following them fam there should be no reason why you should be tripping over it but that that's just life. That's just people. You know, people when they see that they're not getting something um their way, and yeah, to place it in those words, it's like when they see that they're not getting something their way, they don't want to be involved. They don't want no involvement whatsoever. So they just leave, abandon ship and go on. But yeah, like I said, like if that was me where it's like I seen that I was losing my following, I'm like, you know, like I said, girls or you know, just but not even girls, everybody. Everybody gonna get hurt by that type of stuff. You see somebody that you wanna be with and they're with somebody else, and yeah, that that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit hurtful. Whether it's somebody that is far out your league or somebody that you know that you like you had a percentage, you had a possibility, you had a chance of getting with them. And yeah, when you see they're in a relationship, you don't want to see that, you know, and it's, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, you see it a lot. And I'm like, with me, I've seen it a lot where it's like, there's, you know, girls where I'm talking to and I'm like, you know, maybe something could work out between the both of us and things like, nah, like I, I genuinely want to like work on like something, you know, but it's like, cause I like, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I think that there's people out there. They think that people want to be with them with the wrong intentions. And I'm like, you know, I guess that's something that you just, you you shouldn't have to try to figure it out. That person should just be honest with you and tell you like straight from jump, like I want to be with you to be with you, but not be with you to like, you know, sleep around or, you know, fool around, whatever and stuff. But no, it's like actually like build a relationship and things. And it's like, you know, if, if that's what that person wants, I'm like, there shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. But yeah, but if that person's in a relationship, then it's like, you know, I guess talking to those, it's like, what do you do in a situation like that? Now talking to the people where it's like, you just seen somebody that you was, uh, that you have feelings for in a relationship, like, what do you do? And like I said, you know, you have that choice on whether you want to unfollow that person or continue following that person. If you continuing, um, if you continue following that person, you're a stronger person than myself. <laughs> you're a stronger person than a lot of different people out there, but I don't think you're going to lose any sleep at night by unfollowing them. I feel like you will lose more sleep at night by like sitting there and watching them in a relationship with somebody else that's not you. You know, and that's like, and I'm just only speaking on that just from, you know, my perspective of dealing with stuff like that. It's like, you know, yeah, you're, you're going to find yourself at nights, like where it's like, so I guess like just overall talking on both um, situations where it's like, okay, so you continue following the person, you know, and you seeing them post time after time after time, like, oh, in a doing this, doing that. And it's like, you know, freaking whatever and things. And eventually I feel like there is going to be a post where it like, it, it might, it might hurt you a little bit. Like, I know you probably going to be hoping like they break up or, you know, end things or whatever, but then there's going to probably get to a point in time where they're all like, oh, we getting married or we're having a child or something. 
And um, yeah, I feel like, you know, you think you seeing them on their first date is going to be hurtful. It's like when you see there ain't they ain't going to be breaking up no time soon. That's going to be even more hurtful and stuff. So that's if you continue um, following them. But if you uh, yeah, if you unfollow them and you ain't got to see that stuff no more, it's like, fam, you know, eliminate things that's going to hurt you in life. If there's things that's going to hurt you in life, you don't want that in your life. You know, it's nobody doesn't want something that's going to continue hurting them and things unless they're one of those weird individuals that um, like pain. But, you know, if you don't like pain, then, yeah, un- unfollow the person. It's, it's going to be OK. So but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe. Have it set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 46 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMossBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMossBoss fan page. Also, if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock $20 off your first purchase. Also, if you are purchasing any energy drinks or sleep drinks from Poggers, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will knock 10% off your next purchase. Also, if you are purchasing any controller skins or analog grips, uh, make sure you use my promo code for Fatal Grips, uh, TMOS Boss, and it would knock twenty dollars off your first purchase or right, next purchase, whatever purchase. All right. So, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace. Mm-hmm.